An electronic health record or an EHR is an electronic version of a patient's medical history. They include clinical data which is relevant to patient care. Some of the clinical data that is stored on an EHR includes demographics such as age, sex and ethnicity, prescriptions, past medical history, hospital admissions, lab test reports and lifestyle factors. These data are routinely collected when a patient attends the general practice or hospital. EHRs are vital for improvement of patient care. They allow medical professionals to better diagnose a patient as well as safer administer treatments and medications. Researchers can use EHRs to conduct scientific studies quickly and in a more cost-effective way, which can lead to better quality of care. An example of where EHRs made a real contribution to public health was in the case of measles, mumps and rubella vaccination, also known as MMR vaccine. In 1998, The Lancet published a study which said MMR vaccination can cause autism. This caused a drop in vaccine coverage which resulted in a measles outbreak. EHRs were then used to investigate the association between vaccination and autism, and no link was found. After these EHR studies, vaccination coverage went back up to 90%, which showed there was a stored trust in the vaccine. There may still be public concerns over the use of our personal medical data for research. To find out, we created a survey to learn about people's perceptions of sharing health data. We surveyed 57 people in central London, with an even split between males and females. 50% were less than 30 years of age, 33% were between 30 and 49, and 17% were 50 years of age or older. Those surveyed had a range of occupations such as information technology, retail, health, finance, students and others. Two particular questions of interest were the characteristics of those who were more reluctant to share their health data and what the main concerns of the public were about sharing their data for research. Our results showed that 25% of people were unwilling to share their health data even once their data had been de-identified. Older participants were generally less willing to share their health data, with 36% of 30 to 39 year olds being unwilling, compared to just 20% of 18 to 29 year olds. Students were more open with sharing their data, with only 16% of them being unwilling, compared to 34% of people working in other sectors. The majority of people surveyed were equally concerned about a variety of issues, we found that at least 80% of people have concerns about not knowing where their information is being used, who has access to their data, their personal privacy and their data security. These concerns were expressed by both participants who were willing to share their health data and those who were not. In conclusion, whilst three out of four people were willing to share their data, many of these people still had concerns about the use of EHRs for research. Given these findings, it is clear that public trust is still an issue and progress must be made. Steps that could be taken could include reassuring the public about who can legally access their data, providing information about what kinds of research their data are used for and the benefits of its use. Further efforts could be made to clarify the steps that are taken to maintain data privacy.